Electro 3D, it's a electrochemical 3D printer. And how it works, we really leverage a lot of electrochemistry, electroplating materials and techniques that have been developed over the years, centuries. But what we have done to innovate is to put it into a 3D printing uh, platform that allows for localized, selective deposition of the material of choice. So what we were really proving this out on was thermoelectric materials. However, we did demonstrate nickel, copper, uh, gradients of nickel copper and there's a ton of other potential materials and combination of, of materials that we can make with this technology. Harvesting waste heat is a critical issue for energy conservation and efficient energy use. So we're focused here on developing um, a novel process to make thermoelectric devices. And this is challenging because traditional methods to make thermoelectric devices are difficult to scale uh, to the appropriate dimensions that we need to be efficient in this process. So we are taking advantage of our ability to electrodeposit these materials and uh, our experience at Sandia with additive manufacturing and combine those two things together in a new process that allows us to synthesize these materials ready to use in the form factor uh, that makes them most implementable as devices. The way our system is different and what makes it really a game changer is that our technology does not require the part that's being printed on to be submerged into a bath. So a lot of these electroplating baths are either really acidic or really alkaline and that really limits what materials you can actually uh, plate onto or grow structures onto. So with our technology, it's self-contained in a tiny nozzle uh, that the electrolyte is flowing within. And the key there is that the electrolyte is constantly flowing, so we're reducing mass transport and really making a consistent material during the deposition or during the growth of our part or material that we're putting on to a different substrate or a different part. We decided to work on this research area to take advantage of the specific benefits that electro deposition offers. Uh, and, and those include um, high density materials, uh, metals, uh, the ability to modify material properties through changing process conditions. We can change conductivity, we can change harness. Um, but taking advantage of these uh, different uh, modifications of the material properties requires us to be able to you know, fabricate devices out of those materials. And that's what was lacking in this space. Electro 3D has a number of potential commercial applications. Solar cells, we can make electrical traces, high quality materials. Structural electronics, especially 3D structural electronics, where we could incorporate uh, three-dimensional traces, wire bonds, and components into this compact three-dimensional electronic. Heat sinks for data centers, where you need high-quality materials to extract the heat. Thermoelectric generators, uh, we're able to print the materials, which has never been demonstrated before. So we're creating three-dimensional thermoelectric materials, the thermal piles. And what we're able to do there is extract the waste heat energy, for example, from a data center and convert that into electricity. So we had a, a multidisciplinary team of engineers, scientists, all coming together to create a, a novel new technology, game-changing technology, and it wouldn't have been possible without the, the team and support that we had at Sandia to develop this game-changing technology.